Hello, hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Cataclysm and I'm your ghost host for the most and we have last left off in the fortune teller's room. A um, couple things I wanted to note is that I was thinking about those skulls. Care to refresh if we your go memory? into the flashbacks, we're going to find the museum brochure. You remember the skulls with the dials on them? That was where it was. And luckily, my notable memory for the tomb of the Exupi, green. So we're going to have to turn those dials to those colors. So the giant eagle's nest should have been blue. The Viking burial, I have no idea where that is. Um, that's blue. Myth of the werewolf is red. Legend of the Daros is yellow. Tomb of the Exupi is green. And two-headed Celtic god is red. Okay, so I'm going to forget all of that. But <laughs> we know where it is, and that's the important part. Okay. Let's get our asses moving because there are things to be done and people to be seen and Iksukis to be trapped and I'm not even near to that point yet. Okay, so let me move away from my map that helps me to open up that stupid tomb. Well, you know, to get into the... Good. Pass all those. Okay. Ooh, that was creepy. They didn't need to add that. So they're not going to let us look. Alright. Hey, it looks like by that guy's bed. Okay. Anything to do up here? Apparently not. Ah, a pot. Ooh, I'll bet it's Beth. And it's Beth, huh? We found her. Who are you? So well. The markings on the pot. They're important. The markings on the pot? I can't hold on. The markings on the pot? Wait, 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 come back. What do you mean the markings on the pot? The markings on the pot are important. Is she talking about the markings here? Like Fuck me, I never noticed that before. So there are markings to tell me which ones are which. Well, that's just going to take me forever. That's something I will try to solve outside of your time. The jukebox. Oh, this is cool. Random as hell, but what part about this I'd guy's like life is not. I'd dedicate this piece to the world's greatest museum of ancient artifacts. Yours? This is the Anansi Spider Song. I liked this delightful melody so much that I had a music box made for Jeffrey. Alas, I never gave it to him. Sounds... So it's around here somewhere and it sounds like the part of my puzzle. It's pretty cool. That's very interesting. What is that on top? Okay. Oh, creepy. He can watch from his clock tower. Oh, this is creepy as hell. I don't like this. Is something gonna fucking pop out and terrify me? What is going on right now? I have absolutely no idea what that means. So I guess we're just gonna flip through here. Don't know what that is. What the fuck? Is that someone standing there or is that just a creepy ass? Is that somebody standing there or is that just one of their creepy ass uh, displays? Beth, Ramta Boba Taramba. Ramta Boba Taramba. Okay. 
Okay, so I guess that means I should have been kind of scoping up and down. I didn't realize I could go up and down. Okay. Don't have some sort of creepy thing pop out at me, because I don't need that right now. I don't need that in my life. I don't need that kind of negativity. Oh, they're so creepy. The clock tower is it? Really? You mean the clock tower behind me? Ah, I got a feeling I'm about to solve a puzzle. Okay. La 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 la. Okay. There's a. Okay. I also hear things like moving around and it's terrifying me. So it's a giant tyrannosaur tail. What the hell is that room? Okay. Okay. Something with a box. Maybe that's the underground. Okay, so that one's what I, the one I'm gonna fuck around with. Okay. Alright, so is there anything to do here? No. Uh, can I look at the window? No. Sadness. Okay. Oh, fuck you. What are these? Okay, so these are broken. What did that do? I heard it changed something. I think it's moving those. Yep. You see that? Fuck me. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna go move those chains around. I'll uh, be back once I've solved that puzzle. Okay, I think we did it. Yep. Motherfucker. See, I wish I knew what all of these mean. I don't know what they mean. So it means I'm probably going to have to write all of these down. So little arrows on it and I'm gonna note that it's in the clock tower okay. and for the record what's this guy he looks like a little pill bug I don't know okay whatever we solved the mystery up here so let's get the hell out of here Yeah, that was, uh, that was an interesting puzzle, but it thankfully wasn't too hard. Did I just walk by something? No. Is there anything? Just voices. Creepy-ass voices. Like nothing else. This is where that other one leads out. Okay. So can you go back through? Nope, that's a one-door-only deal. Okay. Alright, well, at least we figured out what's going on there. Okay. So, back out to the front. Okay, so let me look back at... Care to refresh Can I look at the maps? Memory? I don't know if it saved those. Museum blueprints. Okay, so right now we're in the main entry hall. We've been through Amazing Plants, The Strange Beasts, the Museum Office, The Workshop, The Library, The Theater, The Projection Room, The Stairwell. So, on the second floor, we've been through Tombs and Curses. We have not gone to... F Did we go to Funeral Rites? I don't remember. I don't think so. But I don't know if this... We have to access this stuff from somewhere else. The third floor is a planetarium, the puzzle room... Man's inhum inhumanity to man? Interesting. Fourth floor is the bedroom and study. We've been there. The maze, the underground lake. Okay, so that's where we already were. The merchant room. Yeah, we've already seen where that was. Okay. So, I guess let's see if we can't get to... <laughs> let's see if we can't get to... The uh, upstairs... So, fuck me, it's another fucking puzzle. Super duper. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, be back with you. Okay, sweet. Okay, figured it out. Figured it out. I don't know what this does. Probably kills me. So far, that hasn't been the theme of the game, but... I don't know where this is. 
Death comes uneasily to the oh, this of is man. a fucking funeral Burial right customs that. throughout the world arise from the belief that the survivors can secure life yeah, after death right for the deceased. You will find here that man has conceived of many ways to honor the dead. See, this is a really cool idea in theory because I would really actually like to see the fu these funerary bundles of the Paracos Indians have proved to know the vast difference of wealth. Each richly embroidered bundle tells a story of wealth and includes personal lavish possessions. Said that wrong, whatever. The poor were buried in plain clothes, both wrappings covered basket with body in it. Okay, so I'm not touching that. Oh, those are creepy. July 10th, 1980, New York City. Since I'm moving tomorrow, I've decided to record my thoughts in this journal. I will miss the view of the museum from my apartment window, but dad says that he needs a less stressful job. July 15th, 1980, Mount Pleasant. <clears throat> While I am not exactly excited about this small town, it does have its advantages over New York City. The air is very clean, so my telescope will work great, and it's quiet. For Dad's sake, I'll try to think of more. July 30th, 1980, Mount Pleasant. This town has really a really awesome museum, Professor Wendell Knott's Museum of the Strange and Unusual. The sign says it's opening soon. I can't wait. August 8th, 1980, Mount Pleasant. Dad says that the museum will never open. I don't believe it. He says Professor Wendell not once taught at the same college that Dad is teaching in, but he is some kind of eccentric. August 20th, 1980. Not looking forward to school next week. I finally saw the professor. He looks really cool, like he just got off of an archaeology dig. August 29th, 1980. School is as bad as I thought. Everyone here is a bunch of hicks. Well, that's polite of you. Uh, there's this girl, Beth, who's kind of cute and says she knows Professor Windlenot. I'm not sure I believe her. Dad says that he's a recluse and not likely to know a high school girl. September 7th. Mount Pleasant turns out that Beth... September 7th, 1980. Turns out that Beth really doesn't know the professor, just a lot about him. She says he has some secret way that he got into the museum, but nobody has figured it out yet. I followed him home from the post office yesterday and saw him go into the museum. She was right. He didn't go into the front door. He went to a gazebo and did something that made a little bridge come up, then crossed the bridge and went into the ground. Cool. So I guess these are like, just his sketches. September 13th. Dad said that I had to get a job. Bummer. He said kids in small towns get into trouble without jobs, so I'm working at the bookstore. Good news. I followed the professor again and figured out the layout of the museum grounds. I think I could figure out how to get in. Beth has given me all sorts of advice. I think she likes me. She keeps hanging around. It's hard to follow someone else when you're being followed yourself. September 16th, 17th? Beth keeps hanging around. I hate it when Dad thinks she's my girlfriend and invites her over for dinner. This job has turned out to be okay after all. It's kind of run on. I finally met the professor face to face. He came into the bookstore to see if we had a book on some African tribe. He seemed to recognize me. I asked him lots of questions. He was pretty cool but secretive. He kept staring at me. He did say that he was going to Africa tomorrow. With him gone, I'm going to try and get to the museum. I have most of it figured out. Should I get rid of Beth or take her with me? She is hard to get rid of. That's mean. Poor girl. September 26, 1980. Tonight's the night. Dad is attending some kind of lecture. I told him that we're going to a movie in case he comes home early. We means I've decided to take Beth with me. She might come in handy. She is smart, and she has a rope. Ladder that we can get over the wall. She says she uses it to sneak out at night. It's nice. Here's the schedule. 7 p.m. Leave house. 7.45. Climb over the wall. 8.10. Raise stone step bridge. You're gonna... It's gonna take you... 25 minutes to climb over a wall and raise the stone set bridge. 8, uh, 8.25, enter Stonehenge. 8.30 to 10.30, explore the museum. 11.15 p.m., home. 11.30, dad comes home. September 26, 1980, the museum, the, the museum, as opposed to Mount Pleasant, which is where the location is. This is a very odd museum. There are lots of rooms I can't even get into and puzzles are everywhere. We found this one exhibit that had some ancient pots. There was a warning outside not to disturb them, but Beth said she didn't believe the sign and opened one of them anyway. Dipshit. There was a pretty cool noise and we felt like a... <laughs> there was a pretty cool noise and it felt like a cold wind coming out of the pot. I thought I saw green electrical charges coming out of it, but Beth said it was probably from the negatively charged ions or something. I helped her open the rest. It was pretty neat. Is he still writing while he's at the museum? 
Something horrible's happening. Grotesque things are coming from everywhere. I can't find Beth. We got separated. There's so many secret passages. She could be anywhere. What are those things? Beth is dead! I found her body in the basement. Those pots, they're not in the exhibit anymore. I keep finding them all over the museum. I think I have to find them and use them on these creatures. If only I could find a way out, the doors are locked. Maybe they won't find me here. Uh-oh. Oh! Bananas! That's not good. Merrick? Well... I hear not good noises. It's coming from behind me. Spectacular Coffins of Ghana. This lion celebrates the life and status of the great African hunter and will carry his remains to the afterworld. Jewelry and money will also accompany the hunter. So you hid inside a, of a coffin. That's... Good on you, mate. What is that skull? I, I don't understand why I'd be looking at it, but... Can I touch it? No. Animal crematorium. The Hindus of Bali place the dead body of a loved one in this animal-shaped sarcophagus before it is consumed by fire. Food and personal items accompany the dead on their trip to heaven. The entire structure is burned, including the platform and the tower. Oh, shit. Shit. That has an Ixupi in it. I'm not dumb. I wasn't born yesterday. I know. These funerary bundles of- Oh, we've already heard that. Oh, and you hear that really loud-ass music? That's another Ixupi. Norse burial ship. Men and women of wealth are in the position are giving ship burials. Something's really loud. I don't know. Okay, so uh, go back Care to the flashback because I gotta memory? look at that brochure because I told you I've already forgotten what color this should be. So it's the funeral rites room, right? It's the tomb of the ex so Viking burial. So it's gotta be blue. Okay, so let's make that blue. <laughs> make it blue. I have no idea if, like, I have to press that button or not, but... Does it look like there are stairs? What the hell? Oh, shit. What the hell is that? I don't think I'll be clicking on any of that, thank you. Can I get, like, up there? Because it looks like there are stairs to, like, get up there, but I don't think I can. I'm gonna, like, take the risk and, like, click around, because I don't know what the hell to do. So, those ashes definitely have them, and then something was knocking real loud over here, so... What's this? Oh, that was his journal, right. And he's... The corpse is in there. Oh, that's where we came from. Okay. Hang on, hang on. I am kind of lost. Okay. Oh, this place is creepy as fuck. What is this? Not trying to make fun, it just sounds silly. I'm kind of scared to be in here, to be honest, because I don't know if I'm going to be fucking with something. Ladders knocked over and there's green paint everywhere. Ah! Okay, so what was... Oh shit, this is that uh, puzzle. Oh, I do not like that that music has stopped. That is super fucking creepy. Okay. Losing all my paperwork. Okay, so Ramda. Where's Da? Uh-oh. Was that Ramda or Ramta? For a Ram. Did I have a flashback of that memory. at all? I hope so, because I don't think I wrote it down correctly. Merrick's Notebook, Professor Windermont, Scrapbook, Best Ghost, Mythology of the Stars, Nope. Shit. What do I do? Oh shit, okay. Ram, ta, B 
Boba? God, I hope I'm right. Teramba. Teramba. What the fuck is this music? It's ridiculous. Okay, so where the hell are we now? I feel like this music is just getting progressively scarier. So we're in the gods room. Looking uh, tasteful. Love what you've done with the place. I'm trying to look at that damn fisherman canoe god. The tea or the wooden icon of the fisherman? Okay. The Maya assigned gods to everything. Political strategies and social events were based on the idea that the time was sacred and even days or months assigned on their own god. Each day, hundreds of gods in my own life. Thor was the Norse god of thunder and lightning. He was the oldest and most powerful son of Odin, king of the gods. Lightning was created when he threw the hammer and main weapon, the Molinar. Molinar? Molinar. Uh, or Jonathan depending on who you ask. Thunder was the rumbling of his chariot as it moved across the sky. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here for now. We'll pick this up in the next episode because I'm still not entirely sure what to do. I'd like to have a little food for thought. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I certainly hope that you'll join me again in the next episode of Shivers. Bye-bye. Bella. <laughs> so interesting over there that you've got to fucking run it to it. Okay. Go! Go the fuck away. I hate these guys. No! Well, I'm gonna die a lot, aren't I?